Indiana's fund to pay out unemployment claims is just weeks away from running out of money. The state has paid out more than $980 million in state benefits and more than $4 billion when including federal benefits. But some of that money apparently should not have been paid out. Some people now telling Fox 59 they owe thousands of dollars after being overpaid. Our Brett Cass spoke with some of those employees who say that notice caught them by surprise. At Commissary Barber downtown, Normal C is returning. Wearing a mask, Barber Philip Irvin is waiting for business to pick back up after his chair was forced to sit empty for 10 weeks. I mean, looking at the schedule now, it is not nearly as busy as it once was. Business is still slower, but at least 10 weeks of unemployment benefits helped him stay on his feet. At least he thought. Two, three weeks ago, I logged on to see and I had a big message pop up across my screen and it said that I owed $2,950 back to the state. That's nearly $3,000 the state apparently overpaid him and now they want it back. That was there to help me survive and pay my mortgage and feed my daughter and do all those things and to have just $3,000 laying around to pay you back like I don't have that. Overpayments are part of our system. Uh, we have them all the time uh, pre-pandemic. The Department of Workforce Development says there is no systematic issue with overpayments, but they do happen often when a mistake is made during filing. It's not necessarily that there was any fraud that was perpetrated, but it is that later information came to us and we reached the determination that you actually weren't eligible for what you got. Irvin believes the problem may have to do with a small amount of PPP money he received, but says he filed everything correctly and is now appealing his case. It wasn't like we were lying or trying to make more money. We were just simply trying to, you know, pay our bills. Reporting downtown, Brett Cast, Fox 59 News. Now the Department of Workforce Development says they work with people to set up repayment plans when these overpayments happen. They say they've been more flexible during this pandemic as well.